Recently, I discovered by following Michael Hughes on Twitter, a great way to have students enter your online classroom when you're doing a live stream, for example, on Google Meets or on Zoom. Instead of using the waiting room that comes with some of the applications, he had created a screen that's similar to this, so the students knew what to do. They could log in early, get ready for class, listen to great music, and then he would start the class. So this isn't too challenging to do, and I did this in Google Slides and just wanted to show you the steps if you were interested in creating your own type of waiting room. But actually what has happened is you've logged on, shared the screen, and the students come in, and then they're watching this screen for 10 minutes until you begin. And it gives some things to do, which I think is fabulous. So if you look at this one that I created, what I have on this Google slide is I have my avatar, a quote from Albert Einstein, the whiteboard in an interactive classroom with the carpet and the piano, a little to-do list before class, a timer, and then just a little icon that lets them talk until we start. So how did I create this? Well, very similar in Google Slides to creating one of your classrooms, correct? So how did we do this? That's why watching so many of the wonderful tutorials that music educators have shown us, I just inserted an image, searched the web, so it went to a Google one, and I said empty wall or empty room, and I like this one because it has the windows, and I have a lot of windows in my room. I searched up the music carpet. Uh, I found one that someone took so it was flat, and then I just used remove.bg to take the background out. Then I found a whiteboard, and you saw that whiteboard there, just taking the background out. And again, I found a picture of a keyboard that's in my classroom, and I just took the background out and added this lovely little coffee cup. My avatar is the Facebook avatar, and again, what I did is uh, on my phone, I found a full image of me in one of the responses, and I just took a screenshot of it, and again, put it in remove.bg and remove the background, and then just add the coffee cup, because if you know me, that's what you see. <laughs> now, to create this part, again, it was insert an image. I looked over here for a cartoon clipboard. So I found one that I liked, that one right there. It already had a transparent background and I put it here. To get the text on this, that's just a text box right here. And then to get the check boxes right there, that is a shape tool. And I made it transparent. I thickened up the uh, rim of it and that's and turned it red. And that's over there. That's how I did that. This also, welcome back to class, our text box. Class begins, text box, unmute, text box. To get the timer, I inserted a video and searched YouTube for a 10 minute timer. This one comes with music. So I have this with music, but I didn't wanna use this music. So when I'm here, and I click on this video and I look at the format options and the video playback, I muted the audio because I don't want that to play. And instead, I inserted my own. To insert audio, go insert audio and look around for any MP3s that you have placed in there. So the one that I put in there is a flute piece so that it will play instead. it to play automatically and just let it loop. The quote of the day, again, is a text box, but it's a really cool text box because it's a call out. And then you can just double click into it and start typing. And I took that Albert Einstein. So this is just in my Google Classroom. And now when I start a Zoom meeting, what I will do, just so you can see, When I start a Zoom meeting, I'm going to click Share Screen and then click Share Computer Sound since I embedded that audio into the slide. So I share the screen, click Share Computer Sound, and I wouldn't click on the desktop. Instead, I would probably click on Google Chrome tab, and then that would play. 
if I didn't have the music playing there, go into the advance and you can have music play for, through Zoom. If I was on Google Meets, what I would do is present now. Chrome tab is the best way for audio, um, video, and animation. So it would be up here in one of my Chrome tabs and I would share it that way. And that is how. That's how you can. sharing your screen and just giving the students 10 minutes there, talk amongst themselves, find the material for movement, find a house out item to play, and this can be your opening to your class while you're doing things in the background. I hope this helps.